the savory combination between soy sauce, ginger, and a bit of fresh Thai chili. And that fish fillet is steamed with all of that. This is my version of steamed fish with soy sauce and ginger. This steamed fish recipe is very easy to make at home, even you don't have a steamer. So today, not only you will have a tasty and savory steamed fish, but you will know how to steam it in a pan as well. Alright, the first ingredient we need is ginger. For this recipe, I don't really need young ginger because there is less spice flavor than the old ginger and almost no spiciness at all for my taste. It's very dark. I think the rain is coming soon. Well, to know if your ginger is young or old, just have a look at its skin color. The more brownish there is, the older it is. But if you prefer just a bit of spice flavor in your dish or you have never tried ginger before, then the young ginger is perfect for you because it's not strong taste and smells a lot. The next one is Thai chilies. I will just roughly slice it. It's optional, but it's better to have extra spiciness in the dish. And yep, the rain is arrived. Well, the last vegetable is green onion. And what I want is shredded green onion. So I will cut it all into buttons and cut it again in half. Then, I just use a tip of my fingers to shred it up. After that, bring that green onion into a bowl of water. And before making the sauce, let's talk about the fish. I'm going to use tilapia fish because this is what I can find. You can use any fish that is pretty medium firm to firm, like sea bass, grouper, barramundi, and snapper. By the way, if you don't know how to fillet a fish, please check this video. I already showed you that. But if you already got the fish fillet, let's make the sauce for it. You only want oyster sauce, soy sauce, sugar, and a pinch of white pepper. This is the basic sauce that I like to use for many recipes, such as stir-fried vegetables or meat. And I also use this sauce often for marinating pork and chicken meat to grill, or even for a hot pot. And this sauce also goes very well with this steamed fish too. It's pretty cool, right? Only one sauce, but you can cook for many different recipes. Make sure to stir until everything is combined. And now, we are going to transform a pan into a steamer. You need a large wine pan, then bring some water in over medium-high heat. And because I don't have that round cooker steamer, so I'm going to use just a little bowl instead. Once the water is boiling, I will place a ceramic plate on top of that little bowl. Bring in some pieces of sliced ginger and green onion. Then follow with the fish fillet. Place it on top of that. Add some thinly sliced ginger on the fish and put the lid on. This fish is quite thick, so I will give it time to cook for about 5 to 8 minutes before adding the sauce. So during that time, I will just enjoy listening to the rain sound. By the way, it would be better if you have a lid that has the same size as your pan. Like that, the lid will keep all the heat and the fish will be cooked faster. But if you don't have it as well as me, it's fine. We just need a little bit more time to cook it. As you can see, the fish meat still has a little pinkish around it. So, it's not cooked yet. But now, it's time to pour in the sauce. Like that, the sauce will have time to mix with the fish juice and also sip in the fish meat while steaming. By the way, if you enjoyed this recipe so far, don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to not miss any easy and yummy recipe every Saturday. Now, close the lid and let it steam for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the fish is cooked. It's time to top the fish with some pretty garnish. Add some more fresh ginger, follow with green onion and chopped chilies. The steamed fish recipe that is so easy and tasty with the sauce and a kick of spicy from chilies and ginger. It's so good! If you want to try another Thai fish recipe, please check fried fish with spicy sauce. It's not only spicy, but sweet, tangy, and salty too. I hope you will love it. Well, thank you for watching. See you next week. Have a yummy weekend. Bye-bye.